In classical physics and chemistry, disorder should always increase. Molecules should diffuse, mix randomly, and follow entropy's relentless push toward chaos. Yet paradoxically, nature consistently creates highly ordered structures without any external guidance. Why do proteins fold into intricate shapes instead of tangling into useless knots? How do lipid molecules spontaneously form the membranes that enclose our cells? And how do viruses self-assemble into complex geometric shells without a master blueprint? Consider snowflakes. Individual water molecules, influenced by nothing more than weak hydrogen bonds, organize into stunningly symmetrical patterns. Similarly, soap molecules, in water, naturally form tiny spherical structures called micelles, a crucial principle behind cell membrane. Even more remarkably, proteins, long chains of amino acids, spontaneously fold into precisely defined three-dimensional structures with just the right shape to function as enzymes, receptors, or structural elements. How do molecules know how to arrange themselves? The secret lies in self-assembly, a process where molecules use fundamental physical forces like hydrogen bonding, electrostatic attraction, and hydrophobic interactions to find their most stable configuration. Rather than being manually arranged like puzzle pieces, these molecules feel their way into place, seeking the lowest energy state. Unlike human germane machines, which require step-by-step -step assembly, molecules follow emergent rules that guide them toward functional structures. DNA's double helix forms because base pairs fit together through complementary hydrogen bonding. Cell membranes arise when lipid molecules organize themselves into bilayers, driven by the need to shield their hydrophobic tails from water. Protein folding occurs as amino acids interact, snap into place, and settle into the lowest energy conformation. But here's the paradox. If molecules self-assemble so effortlessly, why doesn't everything just organize into perfect structures? Why do proteins sometimes misfold, leading to diseases like Alzheimer's? Why do some self-assembling materials form defects while others create near-perfect lattices like graphene? Self-assembly is evident in virus assembly where protein shells arrange into symmetrical shapes without external direction. Graphene sheets emerge from carbon atoms forming an ultra-thin honeycomb pl plugged lattice giving graphene its extraordinary strength and conductivity. Biological scaffolds like collagen fibers naturally assemble into networks that provide structural support for tissues. Nanoparticles in medicine are designed to self-assemble into precise structures capable of targeting disease cells. Self-assembly is not the same as life, but it raises fundamental questions. If molecules can spontaneously form complex structures, where is the boundary between simple chemical interactions and biological function? Could self-assembly have been the key process that led to the origin of life? And if self-assembly follows predictable laws, why do some biological systems exhibit emergent complexity, where collective molecular interactions create something entirely new, like consciousness, metabolism, or self-replication? Scientists are now designing artificial molecules that self-assemble into nanomachines. But does increasing precision in molecular design bring us closer to understanding the rules of complexity, or are we still missing something fundamental? This paradox challenges our understanding of how nature creates order from chaos. Self-assembly isn't just a chemical curiosity. It is one of the most fundamental processes behind life nanotechnology, and the very structure of the universe. So the next time you marvel at a snowflake, consider this. Perhaps molecules are following hidden laws of organization that we have only just begun to understand. Molecular self-assembly is fundamentally driven by the tendency of systems to minimize their free energy, leading to spontaneous formation of ordered structures. Non-covalent interactions such as hydrogen bonding, van der Waals forces, and electrostatic attractions allow individual molecules to associate in ways that reduce system-wide energy while maintaining stability. Despite the apparent complexity of the final structure, the process follows statistical thermodynamics, where local energy fluctuations determine the most stable molecular arrangement. Phospholipids in aqueous solutions, for example, spontaneously form bilayers.
which are the foundation of biological membranes. This is similar to how soap bubbles merge to form a foam-like structure. Each bubble arranges itself to minimize surface tension, creating an organized pattern without external guidance. While individual molecular interactions are simple and local, collective behavior leads to emergent structures with properties far beyond those of their individual components. Self-assembled nanostructures exhibit cooperative interactions where weak forces acting over short distances coordinate across large scales to produce highly organized materials. This challenges reductionist approaches, as the properties of the whole cannot always be predicted by analyzing individual molecular components in isolation. DNA strands, for instance, assemble into a double helix following complementary base pairing rules, allowing for genetic information storage and replication, much like how thousands of birds in a flock move in perfect coordination without a central leader, Molecules align themselves into ordered assemblies based on localized interactions. Although self-assembly leads to increased local order, it often results in a net increase in entropy when considering the entire system. This occurs because the formation of ordered molecular structures often releases tightly bound solvent molecules, allowing the overall disorder of the system to increase. The process adheres to the Second law of thermodynamics, demonstrating that increasing entropy does not always mean increasing disorder at all levels of the system. The hydrophobic effect in micelle formation, for instance, drives the aggregation of amphiphilic molecules while liberating water molecules, increasing the entropy of the solvent environment. It is similar to organizing books on a shelf. While the books themselves become more ordered, the action of organizing them generates heat and randomness elsewhere, such as through physical effort and air movement. In many cases, self-assembly is guided by pre-existing templates where molecules align themselves based on the structure of a substrate or molecular scaffold. These templates provide spatial constraints that help organize molecules into precise configurations, reducing the likelihood of errors and increasing efficiency. However, this raises the paradox of the origin of initial templates. If self-assembly requires a guiding structure, how did the first highly ordered molecular assemblies arise? Silica binding peptides, for instance, direct the growth of silica based nanostructures in biomineralization, forming intricate architectures seen in diatoms and marine organisms. This is akin to how ice crystals grow in snowflakes. Although the process appears spontaneous, the molecular arrangement follows a precise pattern dictated by the initial seed structure. While many self assembling systems reach thermodynamic equilibrium, Biological and synthetic nanostructures often function far from equilibrium, maintaining continuous adaptation and restructuring. In these cases, energy input sustains self-assembly processes, allowing dynamic structures to form, dissolve, and reassemble in response to environmental stimuli. These non-equilibrium systems challenge classical thermodynamic models as they exhibit behaviors that cannot be fully described by equilibrium-based self-assembly principles. Microtubules within cells, for example, constantly polymerize and depolymerize, dynamically adjusting their structure to regulate intracellular transport and cell division. This resembles a school of fish continuously reshaping their formation while swimming. Although the collective order remains stable, individual components are in constant motion. Certain self-assembled structures not only form stable configurations, but also encode and store information in their spatial arrangements. This phenomenon is particularly relevant in biological systems, where molecular interactions are highly specific and determine functional outcomes, such as gene expression and enzymatic activity, Understanding how molecular self-assembly encodes and processes information remains a major question in synthetic biology and nanotechnology. The sequence of nucleotide bases in DNA, for instance, dictates how it folds into a double helix, ultimately determining the genetic instructions for cellular function. It is similar to how a jigsaw puzzle only fits together in one way. Each piece has a specific place dictated by the overall structure, ensuring that the final assembled form carries meaningful information. At the nanoscale, quantum mechanical effects such as electron delocalization and quantum tunneling can influence molecular interactions, 
leading to unique self-assembly behaviors. These quantum effects allow certain molecules to form highly specific and energy-efficient structures by stabilizing otherwise unfavorable configurations. While classical chemistry explains most self-assembly processes, quantum coherence and entanglement may play roles in biological systems, providing enhanced selectivity and function. Quantum coherence in photosynthetic complexes, for example, allows plants to optimize energy transfer efficiency beyond what classical physics would predict. This is akin to synchronized swimmers performing a routine. Though each movement appears independent, a hidden level of coordination ensures maximum efficiency and precision. Advancements in nanotechnology have enabled scientists to engineer self-assembling materials for targeted applications, leveraging molecular interactions to build structures at the atomic scale. By precisely designing molecular building blocks, researchers can create nanostructures with specific properties such as drug delivery systems or responsive materials. However, predicting and controlling self-assembly remains a challenge due to the complex interplay of intermolecular forces and environmental conditions. Self-assembled liposomes, for instance, are used as targeted drug carriers, encapsulating therapeutic agents and releasing them in response to biological triggers. It is like constructing a self-folding origami structure each fold represents a molecular interaction that directs the final shape without external manipulation. One of the biggest open questions in science is how self-assembling molecules transitioned into self-replicating systems, ultimately leading to the emergence of life. While self-assembly provides an essential mechanism for forming complex molecular structures, it does not inherently explain how these structures gained the ability to store and transmit information across generations. The interplay between molecular self-assembly, autocatalysis, and evolutionary selection remains a critical research area in origin of life studies. Prebiotic chemistry experiments, for instance, demonstrate that simple molecules can self-assemble into protocells. But these primitive structures lack the full complexity required for self-sustaining biological functions. This is like dominoes falling in a pattern. Self-assembly initiates a structured process, but the emergence of life requires additional layers of complexity beyond mere molecular arrangement.